Hello everyone, welcome to my new video and in this one I'll be talking about running multiple virtual machines each with their own graphics card. I'll be using a Ryzen platform and an X470 motherboard. So luckily it seems like all the bugs that the X470 was experiencing have been fixed so I updated the latest BIOS and it seems to be working fine. Also, in order to be able to plug in as many graphics cards as possible, I am using the third PCI Express slot for my initial display adapter. So right here, and this can be changed from BIOS. On many, many motherboards allow you to do, th do that. So that one, the reason why I'm using that one for the host is because it's, I believe it's connected to the chipset and that's that one is not suitable for pass through anyway so i'll be using it for the host okay let's boot into the ubuntu now to get started you need two graphics cards that are controlled by the vfio driver one for each virtual machine so let's check that lspci dash k and we should have them right here. Number nine and zero A. So there will be a GTX 950 and a GTX 980. If you want a guide for GPU pass-through, you can either use one of my guides, either for Fedora, Ubuntu, or Manjaro, or you can use any guide on the internet should work. So in order to launch our two virtual machines, now that our graphics cards are ready, each of the graphics cards should be in its own IOMMU group. To check that, let's uh, copy one of these and we'll look for it. So how do we find our IOMMU groupings? Let's run find, sys, kernel, IO MMU groups dash type L and then pipe the character right under your backspace grep and the name or the address of one of the graphics cards. So that one is in group two. So let's see what else is in group two. And we'll look for that, enter, and we see that there are a few other devices. So we have our graphics card there, the audio portion, obviously, that's normal. But what's not good is our other graphics card is there too. And then a couple other devices. Not ideal. So if you are only running one virtual machine, you should be fine. Okay, so let's launch our virtual machine on one of them. Okay, so that launched and uh, is running fine. So let's see what happens when we try to launch another virtual machine. This one uses the 950. And when we launch it, it complains about the 980 being used by the other virtual machine. So not ideal. To clean up our IOMMU groups, we have options. Let's go to the Arch Linux wiki. And uh, one option is the ACS override patch. That's the more complex option. But because we are on Ryzen, we'll take the easy way. Let's reboot and go to BIOS. Okay, and on this particular motherboard, we would go under peripherals, AMD CDS, and ACS enable. And we'll just enable it. Let's save it. And on your particular motherboard, this option might be called something slightly different, or it might be in a different place. But most, I'm guessing most, you know, mainstream motherboards uh, for the X 
I'm guessing probably 370 and uh, 470 and probably even who knows 450 uh, should have it okay now that we are back let's check our IO MMU groups again so here we are and uh, group 15 is one of our graphics cards and the other one is in group 14 so let's see crap um let's make sure there's nothing else in there so what what's in group 14 or 15 only that and only that perfect let's see whether there are any available usb controllers that we can assign Okay, and let's check this one. Let's see what IOMMU group it's in. So it's in group 18. What else is in group 18? Nothing else. So we should be able to assign this USB controller to our virtual machine and uh, plug and play random USB devices. But this way, if your motherboard has only three PCI Express slots, one is dedicated to the host, two can be dedicated to the uh, two virtual machines, and if there are any USB controllers on the motherboard that, that are available, you can assign those, and uh, you don't need another PCI Express uh, expansion card. Well, let's see, let's try launching our virtual machine. Okay, we'll launch this one. Let's start the second one. So here are our virtual machines. This one has the 950. Let's take a look at it. With the 980. This one, I gave it both a mouse and a keyboard so I can go to device manager. And uh, right here, 980. And both are fully functioning. It's great for us consumers to have this feature set available at this price point. Prior to Ryzen, this feature set would be only available at more expensive platforms like the X299, X99, basically the high-end desktop. And if you wanted to run something like this on consumer hardware, you would have to use the ACS override patch, which for most uses should be fine, but it has some inherent dangers. So it's definitely a win for the consumer at this price point. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.